Yeah, so to that point, you know, as disappointing as that was, we still had an opportunity to win the football game. And I was confident we would. Like, I just was hoping we could piece it together to answer your question directly. I uh, probably needed about 20 yards, you know, 35, maybe 37, 38, stretching it. But I'd preferably get it inside the 30. And, um, you know, so that it was still a winnable game for us. You know, as, as many things went wrong, it was still a winnable game. And that's, you know, we, we weren't good enough to get that done. And that, that part's disappointing. I have to say this, okay, for 25 years, we watch guys in practice, we evaluate what they do in practice, and then moving forward, and then, yeah, certainly game performance is a big part of it, but, um, you know, if, it, if it's close, neck and neck, that type of thing, then you rotate guys in and take a look at them, but, uh, you know, I don't think we're insane. Like, you know, you, you go with what you see in practice and, and uh, you know, try to make the best decisions at all positions, not just quarterback. Obviously, quarterback's the one that attracts the attention, but, you uh, I mean, I'm just standing here right now, and we'll, we'll, we'll see what next week brings. But I'm trying to think in the history since I've been here, how many, how many, you know, we had to know whatever it would have been, eight back and forth, you know, with two guys. And CJ and uh, Jake went back and forth a little bit. But typically, you know, there's a clear one, a clear two. And it's not, I'm not saying that in a demeaning way to the guys, too, but it's just it's what it is, and um, you kind of go with it from there. Okay, just start out, uh, certainly give credit to our opponent. And, uh, yeah, they earned the victory today. Uh, both teams really played hard, uh, competed hard. And um, what you expect in a Big Ten game, certainly at this point in the season. So clearly a lot of things we need to do better. And top of the list is just ball security. You, know, you can't win football games, turn it over three times. And, um, you know, two of those uh, directly tied to six points that they got. So that, that's first and foremost. That will never change. And then just, you know, the opportunities we did have, we, we weren't able to capitalize, and that's um, certainly unfortunate. So proud of our guys. I thought the guys played hard, thought they had a good week of practice, thought the effort was good, and they competed hard. And, um, you know, guys that are, are, you know, partially injured, that type of thing, you know, found a way to get out there on the field and compete. So certainly appreciate that. And, uh, you know, it's just a, it's a tough thing. Anytime you take one on the chin, that's hard. You know, we'll get back, back on our feet tomorrow, go back to work, and. Uh, in this circumstance, we've got an extra week here to figure things out a little bit and see if we can't uh, find a little better remedy. And uh, really, no different than we did a month ago. So that's kind of where we're at right now. And uh, should I go to officiating or not? You know, tell me to hit that one. So, okay. So I'll start off by saying whatever I do say, hopefully, if the Big Ten deems it necessary to find me, hopefully, they'll uh, maybe find in their hearts to send it to a good cause. Like the Children's Hospital would be a good place to start. But uh, it's just a, it was a peculiar game, and the fact that we had six replays today, I can't remember a game, maybe we've had some with that that amount. That's interesting, and uh, really the, the, the last play is just, you know, it, it's a little bit tough. So I uh, had the target on the kickoff. That's a first for me. Um, I'm not saying, making any judgment on that, but uh, the last one was just, you know, it, it's hard to take that one. It really is on a couple levels. So. First of all, I don't know how to coach our guys because we cover that in pregame with the officials each and every time about fair catch procedure, above the head, wave. We also cover pointing to the ground for, for an errant to kick, which there were several of those today. So that's something we've covered with every crew that comes through. Pretty standard procedure, I would imagine. And, um, you know, so it was interesting, the, the final analysis of that play. And probably the most peculiar part to me is that, uh, as I understand it, at least the initial replay was to find out if he was in or out of bounds, if Cooper stepped out of bounds, which clearly he didn't. And I, I appreciate the replay on that. That's fine. Do their homework. You know, make sure they're correct on that. But then somehow we went from there to a whole different series of topics. And that's, it's, it's really hard to accept the explanation that we got. Uh, and I guess, you know, I'm, I'm still not fuzzy. Maybe I slept through the meeting when they covered that, but I'm still not sure who makes the final decision. I know we go to Pittsburgh for analysis, and, uh, you know, my theory there is more people get involved, probably the more screwed up things are. So uh, if it was up to me, if anybody wanted my opinion, it ought to go back to the official who's on the field talking to the coaches. He should have the final say. That might clean some things up. It might, might not make it right, but it would be a little bit easier to understand. So, you know, whoever the wizard is behind the curtain, you know, it's, it is what it is. So, um, you know, again, credit our opponent. Their effort was good. I thought our guys uh, played hard. And, uh, you know, it's just tough to find, uh, you know, the right words to say to our team after, after something like that. So, 
We'll work on that, see if we can come up with a good answer for them tomorrow. Had a problem with that before. Um, you know, I didn't, it didn't even look like I, I didn't think I got it above my head at least. You know, I was just kind of like winding myself to turn to get, to get the ball, you know? So, yeah, it's tough. All right, it's really tough. You know, especially, you know, the way it happened. Um, but, you know, now we gotta move on. You know, we still got however many games left, so we gotta finish out the season best we can. Is that? I did not personally. Um, you know, I was just trying to run and pick up the ball, I guess. Never called for fair catch with my, with my left hand ever. Um, you know, I was kind of just like keeping my balance, I guess, trying to run, run to the ball. But, you know, it happens. Frustrating, but gotta move on. Obviously, not the way we want things to go. Uh, not the way I want things to go. Um, you know, it stings. Every loss does. Um, but, you know, we gotta keep moving forward. It's a little bit all the above. You know I, mean? I mean, I don't think they changed much. We just didn't execute. I didn't execute. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of as simple as that. Yeah, I mean, it's out of our control. We just got to go out and do what we, you know, do out, go out and try to do what we need to do to move the ball forward, put us in a place to position to win. But, uh, yeah, it's just out of our control. So we got to do what we need. Um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely very tough. Um, it stings a lot. Just, just how the game ended, you know, you're riding this roller coaster, you're up, then you're down and then, um, ended up not winning the game. So it's definitely, it's definitely tough. Um, this is a team I've never lost to before, um, and it's a trophy game. So obviously that you know makes it that much more tough. But um, it's going to be on you know us as individuals. You know I'm a leader of this team. Um, there's a lot of leaders in that locker room. So we're just going to have to uh, you know come to practice next week. We got we're on a bye week, so just being able to be ready to go and just and fighting through this. Um, you know I think we gave tremendous effort out there. Um, there's definitely going to be a lot of things that we can fix on the tape, but I am proud of every single one of uh, the guys on the team for the amount of effort that they gave today. Yeah, I think uh, the most important thing for us is uh, just knowing that we have uh, you know so much ahead of us, and, and knowing that um, you know we haven't reached our full potential, we haven't played our, our best game yet of football, and uh, you know, I think just the sky's the limit for us. I don't think that we uh, ran out of gas; we just didn't execute. Um, you know, we. Uh, I think we're all in very good condition, you know, and that's kind of what it takes during practice. But, you know, again, uh, the defense didn't do its job in the second half, and we gave up too many points, and uh, we just have to be better. Um, you know, we were obviously all very excited, and then, uh, you know, as a defense, we were trying to lock back in to go out there again and get, get another stop. Um, and then it was unfortunate that they called it back, and, uh, you know, we we're just trying to, you know, move on from there and play from there. But.